So I'd like to invite everybody to join me in wishing the Yahoo Accessibility Blog a one-year happy birthday. Happy birthday, Yahoo Accessibility Blog. The purpose of the Yahoo Accessibility Blog is to host a place where people with disabilities can come and share their experiences living everyday life with a disability. One of our contributors is a Roger Ebert recognized film critic and he just so happens to be blind so he shares his experience attending mainstream movies and giving reviews from a blind user's perspective. You can't have a deeply personal digital experience on Yahoo if first and foremost you can't experience the product at all. The analogy that I like to use is when um, building a product is like building a building. You don't wait until after a building is built to add in wheelchair ramps and elevators. If you do, usually it just barely works rather than being smoothly integrated. Every day we come into Yahoo and we look at how we can make Yahoo a more accessible place. How does somebody that can only move their tongue actually navigate a Yahoo page? What is it like to have arthritis? So what we have here in the lab is we have a lot of different technology that gives you that experience and that makes you a better developer and a designer and a product manager because you understand, hey, that's what that guy in Kansas needs. That's why he's having a problem. The old version of Yahoo Mail was accessible, so we wanted to definitely maintain a certain level of accessibility with the new product, but we wanted to go beyond that and make the new version of Yahoo Mail even more accessible. Um, and what that really meant was changing the way in which it was accessible. We wanted to change that so that um, we were in charge of delivering what the experience of the user was. Um, and so that's exactly what we did. We built a product where we actually um, had control. What we've done over the last year is Yahoo has become a force of accessibility. If you go onto Twitter or Facebook and you hear people talking about accessibility, they talk about Yahoo now. And they talk about Yahoo being a leader in accessibility. We're the source of information, and that's a good thing.